Agriculture has a big impact on climate change worldwide. It accounts for about 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions. There's also a lot of emissions from livestock production. So cows especially produce methane in their stomachs and that's a potent greenhouse gas. The good news though is that agriculture also has the potential to become a part of the solution for climate change. There's a number of different ways in which agriculture contributes to climate change. The biggest is through emissions from soil. So those are nitrous oxide emissions that come from the application of fertilizers. In conventional agriculture, nitrogen fertilizer is made using natural gas. So it has a big fossil fuel footprint behind it just to create that fertilizer. And then there are additionally emissions from the soil once it's applied. Open Team is a collaborative effort to harness the technology that's being developed that helps farmers monitor, measure, or model greenhouse gas emissions and soil health on their farm and bring these technologies together in a way that farmers can efficiently access the technology and use the technology to provide site-specific decision support on their operation about their opportunities for improving soil health. Most farmers will start using Open Team through a record keeping tool. Land PKS is a pretty basic app that you can use anywhere in the world to assess your soil health and your soil type and access some basic information about the soils that you're working with. FarmOS is a more robust record keeping tool that can track all of the activities that are happening on the farm, whether that's um, cropping patterns, livestock movement, personnel, equipment. So there's two different ways that a farmer can start using the Open Team platform through one of those record keeping tools. And from there, they can then move their data through a variety of different tools. We can pull in information from a tool like Quick Carbon, which is a camera that you can use to do spectral analysis of the carbon levels in your soil. And by taking pictures of your soil over time, you can accurately measure change in the level of carbon that is being stored in your soil. We can pull in data from satellites, so we can use remote sensing imagery, which tells us about things like vegetative cover and the health of that vegetation and the moisture content of that vegetation and we can start to infer a lot of things about the health of soil from those images. And then we can move all of that data through tools like Comet Farm or DNDC or the Cool Farm tool. And from there, all of this information can be moved into decision support tools. And this is where it becomes useful to the farmer because we can pull in tools like a cover crop decision support tool, which can provide a farm with site-specific information about the kinds of cover crops they should be planting, how they should be planting them, and when they should be planting them to maximize the benefits from using those cover crops. There are already many elements to the way our farmers are farming that are beneficial from a climate change perspective. For instance, Wolf's Neck Center for Agriculture and the Environment, where Open Team is based, is going to be one of the hub farms. And they've been doing a lot of work over the years to take a look at how they can improve soil health by doing things like changing their grazing practices and um, increasing the intensity of their rotational grazing so that they can build carbon in their pastures. The next revolution in agriculture is going to be a knowledge-based revolution. Improving soil health is really about putting information into the hands of farmers so they can identify the practices, the changes in cropping systems that they might need to make in order to improve their soil health over time, helping farmers move from an input-based paradigm to a knowledge-based paradigm. Mm -hmm.